all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the problems of code forces round 738 division 2 as you can see over here so without wasting our time let's discuss the problem d1 mocha and diana easy version of this problem so the in this easy version of this problem you can see over here n is like 1000 and in the hard version you can see that n is going to be around 10 raised to the power 5 so we are going to have uh, in this uh, uh, in this problem we are going to have a o of n square logarithmic time o of n square log of n uh, type solution to pass all the test cases okay so what we are going to do is like uh, uh, like first we need to understand the problem statement right so there will be two friends this and this mocha and diana and they uh, like each one have each one has a separate graph graph consisting of n nodes and uh, what is like they would like to add the edges to their forest like you can see over here they would like to add edges to their forest such that we are when we are going to add a particular edge let's say from u to v then this edge is not uh, present in this graph one for the person one and also we need to ensure that this edge is also not present in the graph two for the person two and uh, we need to also ensure that if we are going to add this edge from u to v in the graph one for the person one then the graph one must not contain cycle after adding this graph if it like if it becomes if it have a at least one cycle then you can see over here, it is no more forest like a forest is an undirected graph without cycles okay so both the person is, is uh, like is trying to have the graph being like a forest okay so when we are trying to add some particular edge to the graph one then we need to ensure few of the things the very first thing is like this particular edge must not be present in this graph one already and this particular edge from u to v must also be not present in the graph two and this particular edge on adding to the graph one and or an audi and adding to the graph two like uh, there is no more being cycle being formed due to addition of this particular edge right if you're not going to understand this one no need to worry about let's understand this problem with the help of examples okay so let's take this example okay so what we are going like we have some 5 4 2 1 and 4 3 so we will have 5 4 and we'll have 2 1 and we'll have 4 3 so this is for a like uh, okay so this is for a graph 1 okay and uh, like uh, let's say we will have another graph 4 3 and 1 4 so we will have another graph 4 3 1 4 and some random 5 node okay so what we have to do is like we have to going to add the edges u to v to this graph 1 as well as this graph 2 such that when we are adding a particular edge to this graph 1 let's say from u to v then this particular edge must not exist in this graph and also when we are trying to add some particular edge let's say 3 to 1 then you can see that this graph is not containing any cycle like this is the particular uh, particular graph 5 4 3 is not containing any cycle and similarly let's say if we are going to add from 3 to 1 you can see that 4 3 1 4 5 it is not containing any cycle so this is a valid addition right so we need to find it out maximum number of edges we can add and which edges to add like we are adding this 3 1 like this is a valid edge you can see on adding this edge like uh, the graph is not containing any cycle you can see that this is uh, like 5 is connected to 4 4 is connected to 3 3 is connected to 1 and 1 is connected to 2 there is no not any at least one cycle present over here okay and similarly you can see if you are adding this 3 to 1 edge over this graph uh, like there is no cycle formation over here so this is also valid edge okay so you can see that uh, yeah so we can we are going to have 5 4 2 1 and 4 3 5 4 2 1 and 4 3 and then we are going to add, add this one and similarly like uh, you can see 4 3 and 1 4 4 3 1 4 and 3 5 so we are going to add this one okay now uh, what are the more edges like we need to add we need to find out the maximum number of edges right so what we are going to do is like we are going to iterate from i exactly starting from 1 and it goes up to and all the nodes and similarly j starting from what uh, let's say j starting from 1 and it goes up to like n and we need to ensure that when we are trying to add an edge from i to j like this is an edge i am trying to add an edge from i to j and when we are trying to add an edge from i to j we need to ensure that there does not exist an already like uh, there does not exist an already edge which is already present okay 
like uh, if the original graph has already containing an edge from i to j this is not a valid addition of an edge okay so this edge like from i to j must not be present in this graph and also this note uh, this edge must not be present in this graph okay and uh, we need to ensure one thing also like uh, when we are trying to add this uh, like 3 to 1 right okay so let me erase one thing then i am trying to explain this one so this would be an easier way okay so where we are so i am trying to add an edge from 3 to 1 okay suppose we are not uh, doing this one when we are doing adding an edge from 4 to 3 okay so when we are adding an edge from 4 to 3 you can see that there is a cycle formation over here okay so let me denote it by another color there is a cycle formation over here and this is not a valid uh, addition and similarly if we are going to do this one there is a cycle formation over here you can see over this one 4 to 3 and 3 to 1 this is a cycle for we are uh, like we need to ensure that thing also that cycle formation does not happen so overall what we are going to do is like uh, add an edge from i uh, like there is an directed edge from i to j if and only if there does not exist an already edge from i to j in graph 1 also and graph 2 also and the i and j must not lie in the same connected component okay now you can see the requirement of that data structure that i have been talking about uh, actually i haven't talked about it is like disjoint set union data structure we are going to do this efficiently with the help of disjoint set uh, disjoint set union data structure if you are not aware about the concepts of disjoint set union data structure then i think you should have to i think this is not working so let's say disjoint set union data structure disjoint set uh, union okay so you are going to find a lot of resources over the net where you are going to find use this as an efficient tool to solve this problem okay so i will recommend to just look over the code so that you will feel much more easier if you are not aware about the dsu based approach i will recommend to learn this find set function and this union set function being used in the disjoint set union data structure so what i have done is like uh, maintain this two parent one and parent two but the first element you can see it is a vector pair vii vii being defined as vector pair so the first element of the pair is going to denote the parent being initialized as i for the ith index and second element is going to denote the rank I am being do, like I have been doing the path competition and rank competition both in the disjoint set union data structure functions you can see for in the find set function this is the path competition that I have written over here and in the union set function this is the entire rank competition I have used okay so initialize with like this one and this is no longer used and like I have used this one as an extra no need to use that so iterate over like take the inputs of a and b and do the union set operation why if I am doing the union set operation like suppose you are at this graph and uh, like uh, okay so you are at uh, like 5 and 4 there is an already existing edge between 5 and 4 I am uniting these two elements 5 and 4 into one set it means that 5 and 4 lie is lying in the same connected component of this graph note that first I am doing for the graph 1 where I am passing the parent 1 okay suppose 5 4 is like there is an edge between 5 and 4 I am keeping this in the same connected components that's why I am doing the union set operation similarly 4 3 then these three lies on the same connected component okay similarly I am going to do this for the parent 2 finally we are going to push back the answers okay try every i and j you can see that this entire thing is going to take a n square time and for a particular i and j we are trying to fix that whether we are going to able to add this particular edge right now or not if the i and j node is not lying in the same connected component for the graph one yes we are done and this particular i and j must not lie in the same connected component for the graph two also then we are going to say yes we are done like the edges are already not present also and they are already lying in the different connected components for the respective graphs okay so finally push back your answers and do the union set operation it means that we are going to add the edge right now so that this uh, if, like any in future if, when we are trying to add some edge from this node to some another node then some wrong answer might came that's why we need to do the union set operation also along with this uh, like when we are pushing back the answers okay and finally print the answer size and print all the nodes which are being included at a particular edge this will give you all test cases fast 
So if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section of the video. And I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.